Hello friends, it's me, Queenie May, and yes, I've been Mia, I've been Mia for a very long time, I get it. But also was a way, my subscriber count was able to rise to almost 700 and dropped back to 400 and something. So right now, I was going through my um, YouTube analytics and I saw that my, my subscriber count has reduced drastically like why so i was like no i'm not going to leave everyone to go just like that i'm going to be feeding you guys from today onwards towards something great say what while i was away i generated some kind of genes in me like hey what happened some genes new genes Yes. <laughs> I generated some new genes. So right now um with new genes and the genes are urging me to talk a lot. <laughs> but of late I've been talking so much. When I'm on the street, when I'm alone, when I'm with someone, I talk a lot. So I was like, instead of me walking on the street talking to myself like a mad girl why don't i just start making some reaction videos i think you guys might like it <laughs> so that's why i'm back that's why i'm here on your screen once again okay so what we are going to be doing is a lot of reaction a lot more of reaction video david and let me say this before i start the videos please my new environment is like um a pathway the back of my window my window is here 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 and people pass at the back of my window like frequently so i'm sorry in advance for future noises simple today what i have for you is a video of a lady turning a plastic chair like a plastic chair this is a plastic chair into a throne chair okay so much fun so much creativity who does that who does that so let's let's just jump straight into the video okay today okay. i'm going to be transforming this let's plastic chair into the video into a throne chair now i'm going to start off by taking measurements of the back and cutting out the shape that I want okay, from a cardboard. Okay. So first and foremost, she is actually using a cardboard for the chair. Since that chair is going to break down in no time. Why are people on the internet using cardboard for a whole lot of things? People using cardboard for bed. Like bed is going to break says hello you are heavier than the cardboard okay so let what did she do no way that's this calm wait wait she actually um wanted the cardboard to be very thick you know so she added one on top of the other I, I don't know what she used to glue down the cardboard it could be any glue at all but what glue was that she's trying to scam us but well let's see i'll be using these decorative onlays at the top so i'm going to okay. be laying them down on the cardboard nice. and tracing out the shape Okay, so she's actually using these on the cardboard for her to get the shape of the throne chair. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But, but I'm not buying that, that chair. I'm going to carve this out and then attach okay. it to the back of the chair. But before I do that, I'm going to add plastic to make it easy for me to do my tufting on it. No, are you adding the plastic to make it easy or says you're actually adding the plastic to make the thing thicker? 
because literally if water pour on this chair is going to melt like everything is going to go down oh no you get me so putting the plastic in there is actually not because you want it to be in shape it should be because you want the thing to be thick a little thicker it doesn't make sense none of these makes sense i'm gonna use cardboard around the plastic chair to give it a whole new different look okay why are you using this solution tape to tie down the the cardboard around the chair like it's it's going to get off <laughs> a whole lot of solution tape to use in this because i'm not buying solution tape to use for the life. throne chairs can be quite pricey but the whole idea here is to make sure that i use a plastic chair that already has the body frame that i need and all i'm doing is just changing the shape with cardboard i am so excited about this because since you are excited about what you're doing using cardboard for a throwing chair i get i get the fact that you are being creative but what is the sense of you using a cardboard i thought she was going to use something better like a wood a, a carved wood that is in the shape of the throne so that maybe that one makes sense you know like a little but why would i buy a cardboard chair it's going to melt so i already have the body of the chair so it makes my work a lot easier. Okay. She is really creative. I like the fact that she's creative and she used foam. Okay, she's using, right now she's using foam. She's using foam on the chair and on the hand, where they put the hand and also at the back of the chair to make it, you know, more relaxing. I love that part. I cut the top of the phone to take the same part. shape as the cardboard. Wow. Now I'm gonna wow. go ahead and make points for my tufting and I'll be using a staple gun for my tufts. And I'm making so the tufting tuftings, on the is, plastic that I have put. This is tufting. I don't know that word. Comment down below if you know that word very well. Because I don't know that word very well. And she, she's behind the cardboard. Because the plastic chair cardboard. that I'm working on had holes in it. That's why I put plastic behind the cardboard. Two. This is a whole other job, sis. Okay, so after using the clipper, what next? What next? So she's stippling the stippled. Is it stippled? Let's just say stippled. Okay, she said stippled. So she stippled the fabric down to the chair. So, so if the the fabric by the side has been stippled on the chair. The arms are too thin, so I'm gonna add another foam, another one inch foam. But the arms were thin. She thought the arms were too thin, so she needed to add another foam. Uh, okay, so when she added the foam to it, she thought, okay, now we are good to go. We got our chair ready to serve or uh, to throw in our next queen. Look. And because I don't want that part where it adds up to show, I'm gonna use tape to smoothen it all out so to make it look flat. It down. Wow, that is so much creativity in that because I wouldn't have any thought of doing something like this 
even if i have the thought i wouldn't know how to go about it to get that done so first and foremost she has done well down After you can see the black down, tape through the fabric, the fabric so i had to add more fabric there to eliminate so the black patch i'll be covering this up and stapling it down it on the plastic chair I'm going to be stapling down the fabric that's at the back on the chair as well. I added foam at the back and a much thicker foam in the front to make it look fuller. And then I covered that part with fabric. Some people are really, really creative. If you look closely, you can see the difference between the bottom yeah, tufting and the ones at the top. That was one of the things that made me so upset. And then another thing too was the fabric. I had to add some pieces by the side because I ran out of fabric. I ran out of fabric, so I needed to add some fabric to it to make it look smarter and to make it look more nicer. But, but all of a sudden, it changed. Some parts were different. The other parts were different. Funny. It's not funny. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad in the end. Right. Now these are flexible right. trims that I got online. I spray printed them gold and they're gonna be attached to the sides. Okay, so she's attaching this to the sides and I get it. These are gonna be attached with Why screws. Why attaching them with screws? Okay, because it's metal, I get it. think of it up here will be for the decorative on lace and these will be attached with screws as well wow okay so she's putting that crown on top of the chair and, and screwing it down who taught you that sis who did you say taught you that again I love it. I cover the front part here with fabric. Wait. I'm getting confused. I don't know if I'm gonna try this someday. Okay, we're gonna try this someday. No, no, someday. Like. And spray painted the legs gold. I got this from Family Dollar and it's from she a picture frame set. It's plastic Family Dollar is not and it's Ghana. perfect for my project. I took it out Personally, and I spray printed it gold and I'm going to be cutting just what I need in gold because that's going to fit the that, wanted that color, that gold and white color, you know. <laughs> Cheer. This part of the plastic chair made it so hard for me to put something flat there. The so I'm going to cut the design that I want to put there into two. Easier to put on the chair. Um, wow. Round of applause for this girl. She's genius. She's... I'm going to attach the foam for sitting before I continue. Boom. Okay. She shaved carved or shaped a foam into you know the size of the chair where the bum bum will be on that way when you're sitting on that chair you feel super comfortable like wow i'm a queen Continue. so she covered it up with the fabric the same fabric that i'll use this patched. gold trim around the edges of the chair the and then i added a little piece from what i just cut just down here at the bottom I'm going to be adding more decorative on lace to my design because most interesting looking throne chairs have a lot of decorative finishings at the top and at the bottom. Why, Why are you adding more decorative stuff? The thing is going to be too stuffy. It's going to be too, too, like, 
to to I don't know. But it's, it's, it's I don't know. It's the question that I've been. And asking. the complete list of oh, all the things that I used for this project is going to be down in the I'm description yeah. box below. This is another flexible so trim that I got online that I spray PVC printed gold trim. and I'm going to use like, this. What she's using is actually a PVC like flexible ones. It's not the hard. That's why she's when she says she cuts the um she cut the design into two before I was like, "Hello, how did you cut this metal?" Inside the Guys. design that I already have that's on the chair. I'm sorry for the noise. Okay. This will also okay. cover the open spaces caused by the irregularities of the design that's on okay, the plastic she chair. It's gold. Okay, so open all these designs since you're still going to use this. I'll be covering this opening with this leftover chain. Okay. And then staple okay. pins will be covered with crystal nicer, buttons. More beautiful. Now this is what wow. my chair now looks like. What crystal buttons? I wanted to make sure that every time I look at this chair, wow. I will not remember that, that it was made out of plastic. But you know what? The bottom gives it away. I couldn't cover the bottom, yeah, no, but then you, it still you, looks you, pretty and I love it. You're not going to remember, but still you're going to look. You're still Who would have thought that a boring looking plastic chair can look this good? It's actually a plastic chair. But you able to turn this to this. You did a great job. You did a great job. Like, you did a great job. Because I have another throne chair that I, I made without arms. I and I put it here. besides what I just made. She did a great job. She's creative. She's. She has it. She has it all. I don't know if she was watching a movie, she was watching a video while I was doing it, or she was actually. Doing it out of her own will, her knowledge. People are gifted like that, but I don't know who will do this without any directions. Well, I don't know, but people are there who can do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Now, I'm going to be uploading videos like every single day, and you don't want to miss any of them. So, stay tuned and subscribe, hit that bell, comment below share the videos and i'm sorry for the background noise there are a lot of children in my hood who make a lot of noise just like me so i'm sorry and i'll see you in the next video till meet again
सारी Gapa da 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 da